Hello everyone, welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox Studio tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to get all attributes of a part or an object in Roblox. Here in my workspace you see I have two walls. I have wall 1 and wall 2. Let's take a look at wall 1. Wall 1 I have one attribute called gold coins and it has a value of 2 so when a player touches that wall the player is going to be awarded with two, two gold coins. On the other hand, ball 2 has two attributes. It has bronze coins with a value of 10 and silver coins with a value of 5. So the player is going to be awarded with 10 bronze coins and 5 silver coins when he or she touches the red ball. Let's now go take a look at the script. The first part here is just very routine. It's just a touch event for the two balls. You can refer to our prior tutorials for more details on that. Um, the next line here, I'm getting the player from the character. So our character again is part.parent and we're getting the player so that we can add the attributes to the player. The next line here, I'm using the function get attributes to get all the attributes of the part that I'm touching of the ball. Right, so if I'm touching ball one, basically um, get attributes is going to return a dictionary. So attributes here, this variable is going to be a dictionary. Each entry of the dictionary is going to contain a name and value pair. So for example, again, if I'm touching the, the first ball, ball one, our dictionary is going to contain only one single entry and that entry the name is going to be gold coins and the value is going to be two. On the other hand if I'm touching ball two our dictionary is going to have two entries. The first entry is going to be bronze coins the value is going to be 10 and the second entry is going to be silver coins value of five. Alright so here I'm using the four in pairs loop to loop through our dictionary. For each entry, it's going to return a name and value pair. And for each of those name value pair, which means each of those attribute return, I want to check to see if the player already have that attribute. It means that the player already have some coins in his pockets, right? So for example, if we're touching ball one, ball one is going to return uh, two gold coins, right? So I'm checking does the player currently have any gold coins? So it's going to return, uh, I'm checking for gold coins here, right? The name is going to be gold coins. So I'm, I'm getting the attribute of gold coins from the player and it's going to return the value of gold coins that the player currently have. Um, if this value is not nil, right? If there is a value, then what I want to do is I want to add the new value, which is 2 here, right? 2 comes from the ball to the current value, whatever is in the player's pocket. So we're going to add on to what the player currently has. We're just not going to replace his pocket value with the value of 2, but we're going to add on if he already has some in his pocket. On the other hand, if he does not have this attribute yet, means in this case, if he's touching ball one and he does not have any gold coin, then we're just going to create a new attribute, right? Uh, name gold coins and the value is going to be two. All right. And the same applies if we, we touch ball number two, we're going to check. Uh, the only difference is ball number two is we're going to look through twice because uh, this attribute here, the dictionary is going to have two different entries. So we're going to loop through twice, but we're going to do the same thing. Each entry, we're going to check to see if the, the player already have some, some of those coins in his pocket. If he does, we're going to add more to it. Otherwise, we're going to give him the value of whatever the boy is giving him. All right, let's now play and take a look. First, let, let me open up my player here inside the player service. I'm going to click on my player and I'm going to go to the properties window. You can see currently I have no attribute. So I have no coins in my pocket, right? 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and touch the green ball. The green ball should give me two gold coins. Let's take a look. And there it is, we got gold coins equals to two. Now I'm gonna go and touch the red ball. The red ball should give me a 10 and a five. I believe it's 10 bronze coins and five silver coins. Let's take a look. And there it is. You see, I have now 10 bronze coins, two gold coins I still have from touching the green ball, and I have five silver coins. So the red ball gave me the bronze coins and the silver coins. Now if I go and touch the green ball again, now I got four because I, uh, I already got two. So two plus two is four. If I touch it again, I got six now. And if I go and touch the red ball, my number goes up to 20 bronze coins and 10 silver coins and the six gold coins I got from touching the green ball. All right, everyone, that's how you get all attributes of an object in Roblox. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon. Take care.